To remove and replace a Video Ray Mission Specialist Defender's thruster, loosen the four float block screws and then carefully remove the float block from the vehicle. With the exception of the vertical lap thruster, the thrusters can be removed by unscrewing the two M5 bolts that connect the thruster to the vehicle frame. The location of the M5 bolts for each thruster is as follows. The vertical forward thrusters, the horizontal forward thrusters, and the horizontal aft thrusters. The vertical aft thruster is held to the vehicle frame with a connector plate which can be found inside the vehicle behind the two horizontal aft thrusters. To remove the plate from the vehicle, unscrew the three M5 bolts that hold the connector plate to the vehicle frame. To begin removing the thruster, route the thruster's cable to the chain of connections, remembering its location in the chain and then remove the thruster's connector from the chain of connections. Next, unscrew the two M5 bolts that connect the thruster to the vehicle frame. Place the screws in a safe place, and then remove the thruster by guiding the thruster's cable through the mounting hole. Record the serial number on the new thruster. It'll be needed later when we program the thruster to the vehicle. Install the new thruster to the vehicle frame by guiding the cable through the mounting hole and then line the threaded inserts on the vehicle frame with the threaded inserts on the thruster. Install the two M5 bolts. Tighten, but don't over tighten, the two M5 bolts. Apply a moderate amount of grease to both the plug and socket end of the new thruster's connector. And then connect the new thruster's connector into the chain of connections. Plug the vehicle into the operator control console, and then turn on the operator control console, and then the vehicle. To program the thruster, locate the configure thruster icon on the desktop of the control console. If your desktop does not have the configure thruster icon, please watch our programming mission specialist thrusters video. Double click to open up the program. In the central input field, type in the serial number of the new thruster. And then select the new thruster's location. The central input field will turn green, indicating that the programming was successful. Carefully place the float block back onto the vehicle. And then finally, Tighten the four float block screws.